Hello, this is Pastor Katina Isley with BlessingsInBreakthroughs.com. Don't you know God never intended for man to go to hell? When God created hell, he created it for Satan and his demons because they decided to turn against him. They decided to turn against the, their creator. See, God even gave the angels a free will. Satan used to used to be an angel of God that he used to worship God, truly worship him and love God. But then one day he decided, I want to be God. I want to be worshiped. And he was very persuasive. He convinced a third of the angels to join him, to go against God. And they did. And as a punishment, God created hell for them. He never intended for man to go to hell. But see, man, he gave a free will too. See, we you have to understand God's word, what he says about his laws. God says it's easier for earth, heaven and earth to pass to pass away before his word, before his law does. God's laws are very, very important. He put those laws in place. He spoke those laws into existence. And he himself does not go against his own laws. So God, when God saw that man chose, chose to disobey him and chose to follow the ways of Satan, when Adam and Eve sinned, they went against God's will. And so they allowed sin to enter them. And when sin entered them, it caused sin to be entered into every human being. So God knew he cannot be around unrighteousness. He cannot be around sinful sinfulness. So God came up with a magnificent plan. He said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to come down from my heavenly throne and I am going to become man so I can be the sacrificial lamb of God and die for them because they is with the shedding of blood that sins are forgiven. So God said, I'm going to take that place for them. And all we have to do is accept his free gift of salvation, his free gift, his, this, accept the sacrifice he made for us. And then we all can have the opportunity to be in heaven with him where there's no pain, no sorrow, no suffering. We can have eternal peace. But see, we have a free will. We get to choose. He does not force us to choose him as, his Lord, as, as, as our Lord and Savior. Jesus does not force us to choose him as our Lord and Savior. He give, gives each one of us a choice. Those who do not choose Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, those who do not choose his free gift of salvation are making a choice to go to hell. God doesn't want anyone to perish. He doesn't want anyone, not one human being in hell. That's why he made the ultimate sacrifice that he did for you, for me, for everyone. That's why he tell us, share the good news, let people know the, the, the truth, let people know I am the way, I am the, the truth, I am the life. He want each and every, uh, each one of us to make it to heaven. But see, we have a choice. We have a free will. Each and every one of us. You need to choose for your day, for yourself, who you will serve, who you will serve. Do you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Do you believe that he died on the cross for your sin and rose up from the third day? Just like he said he was going to do. Do you believe it? Do you believe in your heart and accept in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord of Lords and King of Kings and your Lord and Savior? Do you? Do you choose to surrender your life to him and trust him with it? Do you? It's your choice. No one has to go to hell. No human being has to go there. It is your choice. Where do you go? Choose wisely. God bless you.